Well, the Free State Education Department has expressed satisfaction that more learners in the province are heeding the call of taking mathematics instead of maths literacy. Through the Maths for All program, the department says learners are showing a keener interest in mathematics. The emphasis is being placed on the foundation phase. Well, for more, let's chat to Sharon Jeet Shan. She's the CEO of the Maths Centre in Johannesburg. She's on the line now. She's also been a maths educator for the past 50 years. Uh, good afternoon, Mrs. Shan, and thank you for your time on the News Today desk. Good afternoon and good afternoon to all the viewers. Uh, Mr. Sean, what criteria uh, should be applied to determine uh, whether learners should proceed to maths literacy or, or to mathematics? It's not an issue of any kind of criteria being applied. One needs to remember that for a myriad of courses, there are very clear requirements by universities. Very few courses would be eligible for children to take if they only have maths literacy. It limits their requirements. In the first place, every child has to have four subjects, a home language, a second language, life orientation, and then a choice between pure maths and maths literacy. We should go right back to grade seven, and we should track students. We should encourage them to understand what exactly do I want to do? What exactly does ignite my ambition, my vision for my journey of my life? And teachers should facilitate that because suddenly to decide at grade nine, it then ends up in the hands of the teachers being decided. And the teachers will be very limited in terms of how they decide. They would either be deciding on the basis of a test or they'll be deciding by how they feel the learners have performed and what their potential might be. I'm not saying that it's an easy decision to make, not at all. But if we chart a program, if we do this journey with the learners, in the free state we do a massive program called Maps and Mirrors. We work with the learners and we get them to see what's my journey, what's my vision, what do the degrees, university studies, what are the courses, what do they require? So take science, for example. You can do health and medical sciences, computer sciences, you can be a physiotherapist, a doctor, a program developer. You need to understand in that arena of science, what do I require? And that needs to begin at grade seven. Yes, I hear you. And then grade eight and then grade nine. Yes, I hear you. Mapping out a clear uh, career path is a crucial factor that should be taken into account. But let's talk about the psychology behind the subject a little bit. Uh, a great number of our learners uh, still face some kind of fear when it comes to uh, approaching mathematics. Why is this? And more importantly, how do we counter this fear or aversion that's sometimes attached to a subject like mathematics? It's like I always say, this fear is generated by teachers and parents because mathematics is a difficult subject. It is a subject that requires discipline, but alongside of discipline, it requires detailed understanding of how to engage with the child, how to make sure the children have at least one hour every day in which they are given a proper snack, television turned off, no visitors, and they can sit and do their homework. We do an advocacy program at the Math Center called Parents Matter, Parents Count. Parents must give that support. Parents don't need to do the homework, please. Parents must keep away from the homework. Parents must just support and engage the child. And if you can begin very, very early when they are very, very young, two to three years old, involve them in the glossary, in the vocabulary, measuring things, looking at direction, length, volume, shape, size, all sorts of language with money, all sorts of language with math, then children would take that as a normal language, as a normal way to be. And when they come to do these concepts in the classroom as a subject matter, they would be familiar with it. And most importantly, our teachers in our country really need to be competent and confident about how they teach, understanding how children learn, and engaging them in learning with love and discipline. That's my favorite phrase. Children should be, fear should be taken away. Engineering is difficult, Krishni. So is physiotherapy. 
So is any kind of medical study. No study is easy. You need to do it with understanding why am I doing it? Thank you. How is it going to get me a decent employment in my life? Thank you, Mrs. Shan. Thank you, Mrs. Shan. I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it.